Hello everyone, welcome to our Portuguese homestead. Um, I'm taking over again this week. This video is going to be about uh, some of uh, my motivations to uh, uh, pursue this life together with Leia, of course, and Puck and all the other uh, animals around here. And then um, uh, the second part of the video will be about what I did uh, last week, uh, more or less, or the uh, things happened as they happened and uh, I'll show you. Let's start off with the motivations first. Uh, I think my general sense of life is that I should leave a place better than I found it um, and that uh, goes for like daily things like going for a picnic that you take more away with you than what you uh, brought in uh, and the same goes for this place uh, we want to leave it better as we found it because of course we we are going to die at some point but uh, i would like to think that i have done everything in my life to make a place better it would have been nice if i have the power to change the whole world and make that a better place but i don't have that power uh, nor do i actually want want that power uh, if you think about it long enough um, uh, so uh, uh, I, I, I thought I can just start with a little piece of the earth and try to make that one better and maybe I can inspire others to do the same or try to do uh, the best they can in their current situation uh, so that's the main uh, motivation um, and another thing that I find very important in my life is, uh, and, and that's more on, on, a, on a daily basis, is that I want to do things that I've never done before or that I can still improve on doing. I like to learn every day or at least every week or every so often I want to have something new in my life. This life, this type of homesteading, farming, uh, regenerate, uh, regenerative agriculture type work uh, allows me to have um, to be confronted with problems that I've never been confronted with before and uh, to figure out a way of solving uh, that or to overcome it or uh, and improve in that sense myself and my skill set. So uh, as you will see later on uh, uh, what I've done the, in the past week are all pretty much things that I've not done before uh, and you have to figure out what to do with it and, uh, and some things will end up being uh, up to standard of some people that are uh, professionals and other things will not be on that standard and that's the way the things go and uh, the things that I haven't done in the most correct way or uh, in the most sturdy of ways those are things that will be improved later on but uh, you have to start somewhere and if you start at, at a zero point then uh, getting something that works is already a massive improvement to what uh, yeah, to paying someone else uh, to do it for you because you will at the end of the day have learned nothing uh, because all the skill set and expertise was bought in or hired uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, yeah leaves you in the same place if anything breaks uh, and uh, I like to think that if I do it myself or I am involved in the process that I can learn from it and I might be able to do it uh, the next time myself or uh, at least be able to judge whether something is done good or badly. Another motivation that works in conjunction with the, the learn every day is that once you've learned something it gives you a massive confidence boost uh, and that's something that I don't get when I've uh, uh, turned in like uh, a new report on something or reached the 40 hours in my work week uh, that's, that's something that really gives me a confidence boost uh, this does just hauling wood from one place to another then at least i can show at the end of the day there's a pile of wood that was there before and now it's there which even on that li small level is is uh, helps but if you can make your car work again then yeah that that is uh that's just uh, a nice feeling that everybody understands i think 
the, la the last motivation that I want to highlight here is that uh, I, I wanted to be an active part in my children's upbringing and raising our, our puck, uh, for instance. Uh, yeah, the way we do now is not what wouldn't have been possible in the Netherlands. Uh, and now she uh, helps me pretty much all day with little things. Sometimes I make up a task to keep her busy, but she she uh, she likes to be around me, and I like to be around her. And uh, that that's something that I think I would have missed out on if I would live in uh, a city. Enough of that. Um, let's continue with what the second part of the video which would be the uh, the things that I've done last week uh, the guy I bought the digger from and a friend of ours paid me to be his assistant and uh, help him out with all the, the, the different things that needed to be done and at the same time you learn what to do so we worked for uh, two days uh, straight on uh, digging ditches and uh, pulling uh, irrigation hoses through them and uh, a septic tank and uh, I uh, never did any bricklaying but I built like a, a little um, uh, retaining wall or retaining box around the openings of the septic tanks so that they could be infilled and, uh, uh, and the boxes would stay uh, yeah would keep the, the access to the septic tanks open or accessible and uh, I did that for three uh, tanks so I had to build three of those boxes and uh, uh, yeah that was the first time I did some bricklaying uh, it's not the, the prettiest site in the world but uh, he checked uh, that friend checked everything if it would hold and would do the, the job and it would and uh, he gave me some pointers where I could improve and uh, what I could do the next time uh, but all in all it went uh, very well um, and uh, we also made a concrete base for a concrete ring uh, tank and we built that up and uh, um, yeah that's something that we might do in the future uh, on the top of our land uh, so then I would already now know how to do that and uh, where to get the, the, the items. The, the other thing I, I did uh, this week was I had to fix my car <laughs> because it broke down. As I was coming up the hill uh, our um, CV joints broke and um, yeah, that's something that we need to address right away and of course that's something that I have to at least organize because I'm the only one driving that car so I'm the one responsible for the breakdowns. Um, but luckily we have uh, a city nearby uh, where you can order stuff or get stuff even for type cars, the car types like this. And uh, so I bought a new one. A friend of mine who has a lot of experience with the uh, the transporters, they're all the VW engines and pretty much any engine. Um, he uh, was able to uh, uh, yeah to to guide me through it, tell me what to do, and later on he will come by with the right tool to uh, finish the the job and make us mobile again. This is the, the shaft, it's or the axle, it's still okay. And um, uh, this part needs to go on there. And um, this one is the, the this is the part that goes to the, the, the gearbox and uh, has a little seal right right there. And uh, this is the old boot. That's actually the uh, probably the the cause of the whole thing is that this boot uh, was ripped and I got that replaced and apparently the mechanics didn't think it would be wise to change the grease as well maybe they have but not apparently not uh, good enough because uh, yeah I think there was just some dirt in there that, that uh, um, broke or got stuck in between somewhere and uh, broke the whole thing um, this is what I cleaned. Uh, this is what goes to the uh, gearbox, and this is the part that goes to the wheel. And we need to remove this little bit, or this is the old bearing 
casing, I, I don't know what the right terminology is. I'm not a pro. Um, and it, this needs to be pulled out and then the other new thing can be mounted on it. And yeah, wheel back on and we're good. Yeah, what broke down on Tuesday is fixed on Friday afternoon. Uh, so that took over my week, so I didn't do much that I planned to show you and film for you, but it's uh, it's what we what I, I did, so it's the reality. And um, I did have some time to do sh chores and, and, and do other things around here, but not the thing that I planned on doing. The last thing that we did is I have a fight year round with the bramble bushes here, but uh, yeah, two two weeks a year they are okay because then the the blackberries are ripe, and uh, a bug really loves eating those. So um, I like to make myself popular and uh, go out for a little uh, blackberry hunt, and she joined, of course. I usually don't harvest a lot because I know that Puck is is a monster and eats them all at once. So I don't want her to be completely sick. So we just do, do some and then uh, we go back. Get a little bit of a look into my uh, part of the homestead life and why how I think about things. The next video will surely be made by uh, by Leia again and. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, uh, she never says it but I do. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye.